Um, I think, honestly, if, um, you know, I, I think I've been, I've been writing for, you know, several years and I, I enjoy writing and I find it to be like an amazing outlet. Um, and I don't always say a lot and I think it's a time, you and an instrument is a time to be at your most vulnerable. Um, I think it's a lot easier to say something to, you know, to an instrument than it is to say it to someone else. And um, I know for me, I find it, um, you know, very therapeutic to, to write and to be honest while writing. So I think, I, I just don't know if I would have wanted to make an album that was anything else. I think I wanted it to be something that I've, I haven't really said before. Um, kind of a part of me that I haven't really shown before um, and that was important to me I wanted it to be to be honest and um, yeah I, I think I, I didn't know what the album was gonna sound like when I when I started the process so I think the only thing I kind of had to aim at was that I just wanted to be very open with it and um, and now I've kind of ended up in a place where I'm, I'm really happy with it and I'm happy to be kind of sharing a, a different side of me than I have done before. It's exciting. It's hard every day that you get to work in music. I feel like it's impossible not to love the people who allow you to do that. Um, and you know, it's it's um, it's ama I mean, it's amazing to have you know people who you know, want to listen to something that you've made is the biggest compliment. And I think the thing that's really hit home for me a lot is is making this album and then going performing a couple of these songs so far. Um, you know, it, seeing people sing it back to you takes you back to the moment of writing it. Um, and to kind of see it go full circle is like a really cool... Um, experience so um, I mean fans that I've known have I've been very lucky to always know the most amazing group of fans um, and I'm, I hope they like the music um, it made me happy to make so I hope that it makes a couple of people happy to listen to um, so I've been working with the band. Um, two of the guys that I wrote the album with are in the band. Um, and then there's three more musicians. Um, they're amazing. It's been a lot of fun working out, um, you know, working out what this album was going to be um, in the studio was a lot of fun. And then kind of taking that and trying to work out how that's going to sound and be live is has been a lot of fun um and i, I think it was it was it, it was pretty natural transitioning into into rehearsing because the a lot of the studio experience felt like we were a band trying to work stuff out um we wanted it to feel quite like raw so um it's been good. I think it's going to be fun. I mean, they're the most amazing group of musicians. They're very, obviously, good players. They're amazing people. And um, and it's made me, you know, love this album even more, getting to play them live. So I'm looking forward to playing, playing the songs for people. I think it was important for me to... I just didn't want to rush it because I knew that for me, I, had, I didn't know what it was when I started the process, so I wanted the time to be able to kind of make mistakes uh, and kind of, you know, go down a certain path for a couple of weeks or a month and be like, we have all this stuff, but that's not exactly what I want to put out. Um, I think the last few albums that I'd made, we'd made very fast and kind of on the go we'd made them on the road while we were touring and stuff and I think I just loved the experience of kind of making it with no pressure um, 
and uh, and I love doing it that way. This is the reason why you chose Jamaica, maybe. Yes, yeah, I, yeah. I just wanted to. I didn't want people kind of constantly being like, I think it should be this, or I think it should be this. I, I felt like it was, the fact that I didn't know what it was, I felt like it was so important that I worked out what it was before, um, before people started telling me what it should be. I mean, I think the thing with this one is that there was um, a kind of, worked out that sometimes you'd write a song and you absolutely love it, but you don't feel like it goes on this one. Even when it's not finished, it kind of, you finish a song and it just doesn't feel like this album or you don't feel like you want to say that yet. Um, so you definitely like have stuff back and there's definitely songs that I wrote during the process that I think um, are right, but not necessarily right for this album. Um, and in terms of it being short, I think I just wanted to, I wanted to push myself to not have anything that I didn't feel like was good enough to be on there. Um, and I just wanted it to be kind of 10 of what I wanted the album to be. And I mean, a lot of my favorite albums are, are you know, 9, 10, 11 songs. And, <clears throat> I always find myself finishing it and listening to it twice. Um, and I think if my album was an hour and a half long, I wouldn't even enjoy doing that. I think he was really important for the album. I think he pushed me in a way that I don't think I've been pushed before in terms of, you know, bringing out what it was that I wanted to make um, I don't think he really knew much about me, which for me was good in that he didn't come in with any kind of pre preconceived notions of what my album should be. Um, I think with Jeff, he doesn't really have, he doesn't have like a set style. He very much goes with what the person wants to make. Um, and, you know, I, I think you don't look at any of the stuff that he's done and think, oh, it sounds the same. Um, and I think that was cool for me going in, kind of thinking that we could kind of work out what my album was going to sound like together, rather than, you know, I want his style and to kind of just redo that. Um, but I mean, yeah, he was, he's, he was always very honest with me about when stuff wasn't good enough. And I feel like that was, that's you know as important, if not more important, than telling you when something's good. Um, he's also just very intelligent and very good at music, and um, pretty inspirational to be around in terms of watching a musician work. He's you know I think I've, I feel very lucky to have got to um, write around him for several months. Um, it was one of my favorite kind of musical experiences I've had so far is getting to work with someone like that in a studio for a, for a long period of time. Thank you for your time. Thank everybody. you very much. Okay. That was lovely. <laughs> Fantastic. You're wonderful. Um, I mean, I feel, home, I feel at home in, in England for sure. I think between uh, being in Cheshire where I grew up and, and now being in London um, is definitely where I feel most at home. Um, I've kind of, I've lived in London for about seven years now, so it's always kind of been the place I come back to after traveling, and I hadn't really been to London, I'd never been to London before I moved here, um, but now it definitely feels like home for me. Um, and in Italy, I haven't been for a little bit, um, but I mean, we always used to just have the most amazing time when we were there touring there was unbelievable we did the you know our dvd concert there um it was amazing the fans were always amazing i've been lucky to make a couple of friends in milan over the years of traveling and it's um it's pretty amazing one of them has his own olive oil and it's really good <laughs>